All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Cody, the Astro Adventurer, and today I've got an interesting session for you here today. I'm doing a little bit of an unboxing and review of the SV Boney SV510 uh, Solar Telescope. This is the new one by them. Uh, they put out kind of before the uh, eclipse coming up here, so you can take some good pictures of the solar eclipse coming up. So they sent me this one I wanted to do a little bit of an overview and review of that. We're gonna take some pictures as well. But first off, we got the um, box here that just came. Um, well, it came a little while ago. I've been waiting for a sunny day that we finally got here in the winter. It's not really that sunny. And um, you'll notice a new location here. I'm filming from a different spot than I usually do. Um, but in our new house here that we just moved into. So, oh, wow, look at that. It actually comes in a nice little backpack and case. I, I didn't know that, so this is really cool. Um, let's open that up and see what we got here. It says SV Boning on the front. I really like that. Did not know that it came with a backpack. So it's meant to be travel with, right? So it is a travel scope, which is going to be helpful if you're not in the totality of the eclipse and you're traveling somewhere. So this would be perfect as like a uh, personal item if you're traveling on a plane that you carry on um, or just, uh, you know, throw in the car or whatever it might be. And I think it actually comes with a tripod as well. SV Boney constantly constantly just impresses me so we got these like little straps and stuff in there if you can see but I'll open this up here and we've got a little carrying case i believe the tripod is in here so we'll open that up all right what do we got here yeah nice little tripod it says sv bony on it which is really cool i love that open here. Wow, it's a nice tripod. It's metal too. Yeah, a lot of adjustment there. So we'll take this out. I didn't, wasn't sure actually it came with a tripod. So we'll use that in, uh, uh, when we're taking our photos today of the sun. So I don't even have to put it on my other uh, mounts or anything. So here is the main event here, the, the solar telescope. So let's give that a Let's open that up and see what it looks like. Nicely packed in here. Oh yeah, there it is. So this is the solar telescope that they're making now. Um, in cap here. Okay, there's the filter. I just took off there. The guard. You can see the inline filter right there. So that's the solar filter for it. That's the main. Lens cap there, got a little spotting scope attachment here, and a little adjustment knob here to adjust the focus, and then some pressure screws here as well. Looks like this is one and a quarter inch hookup. Yeah. So yeah, it's got a little dovetail plate on the bottom. But yeah, there it is. There is the telescope. Let me put this back in there. Really excited to get out there and, and take a look today because it is sunny out finally. We've had a lot of oh cloudy weather um, for Christmas here. And Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays if you don't uh, celebrate Christmas as well. Got some instructions on how to set that up. I'm sure it's not too big a deal though. But just put it right on there, right? So, all right. And I think we have some other accessories in here. There's, there's a lot of neat pockets and stuff. And there's, there's a lot of padding. Feels very well padded and so it should protect the telescope. Well, yeah, we have our diagonal and it looks like a little 20 millimeter um, lens as well for visual observing. Well, you know me, I'm going to do more uh, camera, you know, pictures and stuff, not, not visual, but I might do some visual since they do make it so easy um, since the filter's already built in and all that. It'd be easy to swap it in and out. And yeah, so that is everything that that came with. I'm going to Get this set up and next time you'll see me here we'll be outside and we're going to give it a, a test on the sun so uh stay tuned i'll be posting this soon thanks a lot all right just Bye. really quickly here i wanted to show you all how easy this was to attach so we got the telescope here we got the tripod that came with it here we're literally just going to screw it on there there's a little space in the bottom and just screw it right in the middle there gotta kind of hold the bottom piece a little bit so it doesn't spin, and that's actually probably as tight as we need it. We can tighten it down here. Yeah, there we go. 
there you have it. So very easy to install and set up, right? We got our, put our legs out, we can lock this into place. Just turn the thumb screws here. Oh, this is so easy. If you're traveling with this, this would be the, per whoops, the perfect traveling set. Do remember to tighten up here as well. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. <laughs> and yeah, there you go. So this adjusts down really easily. Yeah, it's a good tripod. Um, it's a very good tripod. And then you kind of move it around, you know, wherever you want to go. This loosens and unloosens, and then you can go up and down with it and move around wherever, right? So let's get it outside and take a look and get the sun in there. All right, be right back. Hey everyone, got this pretty well set up here, but I just want to show you a little bit of what I have, my setup. Um, we have the obviously the SV510 solar telescope here on the mount that came with it, the SV102 mount. And I've hooked my ZW ASI 678 um, uh, camera to it, and MC camera to it, which is my planetary camera. And what I did is I looked to see how the, uh, the framing would be with this telescope, which is 60 millimeter by 400 millimeter focal rate and it's a f 6.6 .6 ratio so with my mc uh the sensor on my um, asi 678 mc it'll perfectly fit the um the sun in the field of view so if you are looking for you know uh, a camera or something that would fit very well and pair very well for with this uh sv bony telescope the solar telescope for the eclipse the asi 678 um, mc is a very good one to use it perfectly fits the sun in the field of view so what I'm going to do is just really quickly just set up the tripod legs here, extend them out, and they just lock into place really easily. Very easy to set up, very portable, very light. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is, uh, I think, right around $100 usually, $99, and I think it's actually on sale right now for even less. I think it's like $94 or $95. Um, so if you want to pick it up, it is a great price right now, probably like a little holiday sale that SB Boney has going on. So anyway, sorry for the cars going by. I live out in the country, but we do have some cars going by every once in a while on the road here. <laughs> but um, we're going to try to kind of get it positioned a little bit towards the sun. Take the lens cap off right here. Um, so we are exposing it there. And I do have this hooked up to my ASI Air, as you can see right here. Um, I just, you know, makes it easier to capture. See what's going on. I can do a live view with video. So I've got it on my iPad right here. I'm gonna take a quick test photo to see kind of what we're looking at, what exposures we're playing around with. I'm just do a one second exposure really quickly and see what we come up with. And it's just a bunch of brightness, so we'll take it down a little bit. We're gonna to have to go through the process of uh, you know focusing it and everything else. And we went from brightness to, to nothing. So um, we got to find the right length of exposure. Um, so I'm gonna try a half a second to see what we're playing around with here. All right, give me a second. I did want to go through a couple things here. The, uh, <laughs> there's a couple things I want to point out. I went through kind of a progression with uh, solar photography. I initially started out with just one of these you can buy them off of Amazon it's a solar filter you put it over the end of your telescope like this and you put some duct tape on there or something well that's how I was doing it it does not work very well I mean you can look at the Sun through there yeah I can see that it looks fine um, but it is uh, not very easy to handle and it wrinkles very easily as you can tell then I stepped it up to a little filter that goes over my uh, C8 as you can see and I can look through the find the sun right there yep there we go um never look at the sun with your eyes never 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 you have to have a, a specifically designed solar filter to look at the sun so please do not look at the sun with your eyes i usually have some uh, gla solar glasses that i have apparently have packed away somewhere during the move i can't find them so i'm going to be using this to kind of block the sun and position the telescope where i think it needs to be um so you can watch that now just one thing to add on here I wanted to show the uh, finder scope right here, and it's kind of cool. You just line up that little pinpoint there in the middle. See that? 
and you can find the sun. That is a very clever way that SV Boning did that to find the sun, because it can be hard sometimes. I usually go by the shadow like I was showing you all earlier, but you can just line it up with that and it seems to work. So just wanted to give that tip for you all if you're getting the scope. That's a really neat feature and it's gonna be very helpful when you're going to find the sun. And So there you all go. All right, we've taken some pictures of the sun now and now I'm actually gonna look at it through the eyepiece. I don't do this a whole lot, but so I'm usually just taking pictures, but it's, it's fun to do that, especially on the sun, an object like the sun. So let's take some quick look through here, the eyepiece. Um, it was the perfect size, like I said, for the for that camera and the sun right there. And this thing just moves so easily as well. So again, find the sun. We want to make sure we line this up with the shadow straight forward. There we go. Straight on should get us right in the sun. And then we can get down in here and take a look and fine tune it from here. That is going to look pretty awesome and the, uh, uh, during the eclipse, I will say. That is so cool. Let's see if I can take a picture of that for you all. Maybe we can even get it in there in the video. Well, there it is. So that is the sun, folks. Just a little little video for you. Well, I moved it a little bit. There it is. It's a really good view. There you go. Kind of shows you the whole thing there. Brightness is a little high. Let's turn the brightness down for you. There you go. Should be able to see some sunspots even. Oh, just went off the screen there. Let's find it again. There you go. Oh, I moved it a little bit. But you got the idea, right? And there we go. That is a cool little telescope, I'll tell you what. Well, so far my impressions are very portable, very easy to use, love the tripod it came with. Um, so far, I am very, very impressed with this and it's gonna be so easy to travel with. So stay tuned, I'll post those pictures. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching this and thanks for joining. And I hope you enjoyed this review of these SV Boney SV510 solar telescope. It will be a perfect, uh, kind of uh, pairing for the solar eclipse coming up in April. So pick your pick yourself up one and I'll have all the details uh, below and links and everything where you can find it. Thanks a lot and uh, take care. I'll see you next time.